Hey historians, welcome to Decoding the Test and a look at the Roaring Twenty. Now as always, what we're about to go over is not everything I would want you to know to understand the era. Instead, it's a look at what the test has covered over and over again over the years. Now, if you want that higher level score, make sure you know the details that you see in front of you. Now when it comes to the Roaring Twenties, we really only see a couple of things come up. Over and over, we see Warren Harding's campaign pledge the return to normalcy. We also see the Teapot Dome scandal, and we also see the first Red Scare. Now you notice I say, where is Prohibition? We have never seen Prohibition on the test over the last couple of years, so I would actually know it because it seems such a big part of this time period that I can't imagine them not including it. Now, today we're going to take a quick look at the Harlem Renaissance, because over and over, we do see the Harlem Renaissance come up on the test. What do you need to know about the Harlem Renaissance? You need to know basically what it was, that it was a cultural and artistic movement of African Americans, primarily centered in the Harlem division of New York. So if you know that it's African Americans really, really expanding and mixing their culture with overall American culture and influencing the entire country, then you should be okay. For instance, you'll get a question like this. Which of the following was a major contribution of the Harlem Renaissance to US culture? C, it established jazz as a prominent musical form. So if you know what the Harlem Renaissance was, you should also know some of the prominent products of the Harlem Renaissance. The most significant is jazz. The most significant is jazz, and we all love jazz. It's impossible not to love big band jazz. But you also should know, say, the poet Langston Hughes. He has been mentioned on the test several times. And you should also know that this is when you start seeing the first stirrings of the civil rights movement, which is what this question is referring to. Which of these cause and effect relationships is accurate? The answer choice H is correct. The ideas of the Harlem Renaissance influenced the growth of the civil rights movement. You could have known that answer by knowing what the Harlem Renaissance involved, that it was African American culture specifically, and then looking at the other answer, answer choices and noting that they don't have anything to do with each other. For instance, social Darwinism and the passage of prohibition laws, uh, the Treaty of Versailles and the implementation of the New Deal, these things don't connect. The Harlem Renaissance, which is primarily African-American culture based and the growth of the civil rights movement, that connects. So if you know what the Harlem Renaissance was, if you know the two prominent products of the Harlem Renaissance, Langston Hughes and Jazz, and you know that it influenced the growth of the civil rights movement, you should be able to get it right on the test. If there's no questions, comments, or screams of angst, I'll see you in the next video.